So in this project, we're going to explore moving the pivot point, the point at which a sprite rotates from the center to some other point. Occasionally you might want to do that, and let's figure out how. So by default, or automatically, the pivot point, the point at which a sprite turns, is the center of that sprite. On occasion, we might want to move that pivot point. For example, in a hammer here, we don't want a hammer to rotate from the center like that. We would want the hammer to rotate from the end of its handle like this. So why don't we create a program with a hammer and make it swing like a hammer should? Okay, people, let's get ready to program. I logged into Scratch, I hit create, I got a new project. We're going to create a hammer and animate it the way a hammer should be animated swinging from the base. We'll use this hammer in a whack-a-mole game that we'll create shortly. So the first thing we're going to do is name the project. So I'm going to name it Hammer. Once we turn it into a game, we'll change the name. We're not going to need the cat. So I'm going to delete this sprite by right-clicking. Hover above, right-click, and hit delete. And we're going to draw our hammer. So under the new sprite icons, the second one is a paintbrush. It will open up our drawing tool. Click it. Now our hammer is basically two rectangles, a handle and the hammer itself, kind of like a mallet. So to make the handle, we're going to use the rectangle tool. We want it to be filled. And we'll pick a brown color. I will make a long vertical handle. The hammer itself, we're going to use the rectangle tool. Again filled, but this time black. And it's going to be a thicker horizontal rectangle. Before you click away, center it and place it with a little bit of the handle above. Now to illustrate the focus of this lesson, I'm going to put a little round circle, a base, at the bottom of the handle. So I'm going to click my circle tool, make sure it's filled, and I'm going to pick red. Now I'm going to hold down shift to make my circle perfect. I'm going to place it at the base of the hammer. And it's from the center of this circle that I want my hammer to swing. And so now we have to select the point, the center point, or the point at which our sprite will turn or pivot. And to do that, on the upper right hand of the drawing tools, you see what I like to call the crosshairs. They look kind of like a plus sign. So you click on that, and then the hairs will appear on your drawing program. And one time, you're just going to click your mouse and place it where you want your sprite to pivot from. And your sprite will move on the screen to recenter it, reposition it. Click. Perfect. So now it's time to program it. So hit scripts. So our hammer is pointing straight up, and we want it to turn so it points straight to the left. In other words, we want it to turn 90 degrees. We're not going to have it turn 90 degrees all in one shot because we want to animate it. So we're going to have to repeat. And we're going to use a repeat loop. The number of times we repeat times the angle at which we turn each time must equal 90. So we want to go down quicker than we go up. So we're going to repeat 2 times 45 on the way down. And then we're going to repeat 6 times 15 on the way up. So we're going to use the space bar to trigger the event and make the hammer turn. So the first thing we're going to do is get the hat from events. The second event in the list is a key press, and we want the space bar, so we'll leave it the way it is. And from control, we want two repeat loops. We want to repeat the way down and repeat on the way up. Now the first thing we said is we're going to go down 45 degrees two times. So I'm going to click the repeat loop, change the 10 to 2, and under motion, I'm going to turn to the left, third block from the top, 
45 degrees. To come back up, we're going to go a little slower. So we're going to repeat six times. And we're going to come up 15 degrees. Now when we hit the space bar, the hammer will swing. Now to make this a little bit more exciting, we could go to the sound blocks. And after it hits the bottom, we can make a pop sound. Now, of course, you could go import or use any sound that you want, a bang or a bell, whatever works for you. Now we have a hammer that swings. Now, don't hurt anybody with it and make sure you save it because whack-a-mole is coming soon and we're going to need the hammer to create the game. So like what you like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.